What's up guys, Romsko here, and we're about to take an in-depth look on the Adidas Dragon Ball Z collaboration shoes, the Cell Pro Fears. Starting off with the box, we have all this intricate detail and design with Cell as part of a 7-piece collage. A bunch of Dragon Ball Z labeling, custom wrapping paper with a dope design, and a box full of Dragon Balls. Here's a wider view of the paper inside showing the design of Gohan punching Cell, and I love how each shoe in the collaboration has its own different design. And here are the Cell Profiters in all its glory. Starting with the upper, it's a regular knit upper with this vibrant black and green colorway along with multiple accents of purple to match the colors of Cell. The black and green sections are nice and soft, accompanied with stiff purple stitching to give the toe box support so it doesn't fall flat. As we move up, we have the three large piece cage on each side for lacing and foot support, and you can also see the black and green upper continue throughout the whole shoe behind the cage. The cages are made of thick layers of nubuck, which I like to call discount suede. It's soft to the touch and is really sturdy. And what's cool is that on the lateral side, it's all smooth and in one piece, but on the medial side, you actually have a whole bunch of holes in them. And each piece has one hole to lace the regular green rope laces. It also has an extra set of flat laces provided, so you can choose between having rope or flat styled laces, which is a nice touch. Since we're here, the tongue design is pretty bulky. You have the regular knit tongue underneath, but then you have this stiff as tongue support made with a tough strap that's folded on the top and on the bottom, and is sewn onto the upper in multiple places. You can see the purple accents on the bottom, and on the top here, you have the huge Adidas Originals patch in purple, making this shoe feel way bulkier than it actually is. And underneath the tongue is actually a cool design of the third Dragon Ball, and I really like that subtle design choice. On the back side of the shoe, we have a purple Nubuck heel with a fin sticking out like in all Profiers. And above it, we have more purple accents with these embroidered stripes that really makes this shoe come together aesthetically. On the inside of the shoe, we have this plush purple material that is very comfortable and holds onto your ankles very well. And I think the coolest feature of the shoe is probably this insole right here. It is a purple Dragon Ball Z design printed on nylon material, and you can see the shimmer that reflects back. And on the bottom of the insole is just a porous blue foam that is lightweight and brings you comfort with every step. Last but not least, let's talk about the weirdest thing about this shoe, the midsole. It is ginormous. At first, I thought it was a solid piece like the Jordan 1 soles, but it's actually a polyurethane midsole. It's a dense yet soft piece of foam with all these little bumps on it. It's soft enough to be able to be squeezed, and when wearing them, it's very comfortable. Underneath that foam midsole is the pink rubber outsole, which I actually find to be a nice touch for this shoe. It's a really subtle pink and brings out more character out of the shoe. It has two main sections. A dotted texture found on the forefoot and heel of the shoe, while the middle has the same texture as found on the midsole. It's pretty wacky in my opinion, but traction is definitely not a concern for the shoe. And we'll end the video off with the on-feet shots. The shoe is actually a little bigger than usual, so you might have to go down half a size from your true size to compensate for it. The shoe overall looks kind of bulky, but it's mostly just the midsole and everything else is pretty normal. The shoe is definitely something that will catch people's attention because of the unique colorway and because people who aren't sneakerheads also know that it's a Dragon Ball Z collaboration shoe and people love Dragon Ball Z. Even through these shots, as I mentioned before, you can see that pink is just barely there and is really a nice accent color for the green and purple because it just stands out so vibrantly. I would definitely recommend this shoe if you're a fan of the colorway or just a collector for the sole purpose of the boxes because those designs are absolutely legit and awesome. What do you guys think about the collaboration shoe? Is it dope? Is it just meh? Let me know down below. I think it's a pretty dope shoe and would definitely wear it to flex because it's just so unique. Thanks for watching this video guys, hope you found it useful. Like and subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw, click that notification bell to know when I release a new video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.